Welcome to this Football Manager 2019 experiment video, where today I'm going to be focusing on the vertical tiki taka tactical style. That's a bit of a mouthful, isn't it? I've already made three videos in this series. I focused on the control possession tactical style in the first video, then Gagan Press, and then tiki taka. So go and check those out on my channel if you haven't done so already. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. That would be very much appreciated. So just like in my previous tactical experiment videos, I've let my assistant pretty much take control. I've allowed him to pick the team, do all the team talks and all that stuff. As I'm playing on an early edition of the game, the in-game editor is installed. It won't be available on the beta, I don't think, but it will be available on the full release game. Um, so I have maximized tactical familiarity so we can properly see what this tactic is all about. This is the team that's been selected according to the player roles. Let's just get on with this match then. We'll watch it in 2D once again so we can see from above what this tactic is like. And uh, we'll obviously analyze the statistics as well and compare it against what we've done already with the other tactics. Okay, let's go. On the attack already here, this is a good start to this game. Whether it's going to be a highlight or not, we'll find out. Tommy's through. This is certainly more direct than the regular Tiki Taka tactic. We've already had a bit of a... An well, we've already shown intent. But here come Dortmund. Back to Pishak. Don't really know what system Dortmund are playing, so I assume they're playing the same system every single game. That we're, we're doing. I don't know if it's based on the system we're playing, but we've, pr we've played the same formation so far. I don't know if we'll have the same formation for every single tactical style as uh, Pishek has a shot wide. Well, we'll see, won't we? Uh, there's still going to be, I think, six more videos to go because I'm showing all of the 10 preset tactical styles. Here's Gentner into, I can't pronounce his name, I'm not even going to try, I'm afraid. <laughs> We've won a corner. I don't even remember seeing a corner in the, the regular Tiki Taka video. Here's a Colo round the back. Good save by the goalkeeper. That is our first half chance from two shots. We've also had 68% possession and we've completed 97% of our passing. So, so far, this has been better in every single way, but we're only five minutes in. So let's not get ahead of ourselves just yet as oh that was a chance but it was knocked away in the end here come Dortmund 23 minutes in they've done nothing that is over the bar from Witzel pretty poor effort but there's still only been one half chance in this game that was created by us they've not created anything though so perhaps defensively this has been a little bit more effective than the tiki taka tactic so far there's still plenty of time remember with the tiki taka tactic there was no highlights in the first half Similar, similar highlight here, thrown from that. Oh, it's we're having we're having VAR for the first time in this match. <laughs> Hopefully, the only time in this match. It's probably going to be a penalty, I reckon, uh, unless it's contentious. Maybe it's on the edge of the box. They're not sure whether it's in the box or not. Let's have a look. Well, the ref's having a look, and he's going to eventually decide. Oh, it was outside of the box. It's a free... That's, oh, that's interesting. So, of course, in the Bundesliga, you have VAR. So that has been implemented into the game. So that was not a penalty. It has been deemed a free kick, which Dortmund will take. So, oh, here's the highlight. Here we go. Crossed in. Headed away brilliantly by Pavard. Pisek. Guerrero. Back to Pisek. Curls it well wide. So, just like the standard Tiki Taka tactic, nil nil at half time. There's been more highlights. We've had a lot less possession, though, 53%. Percent, percent, uh, and that's about it. So, this hasn't been massively exciting either. Get my assistant to do this. And we'll start the second half. There's no need to make any changes. I will make subs if there's injuries, if players get tired or they're playing really badly. But that's pretty much the only thing I'm going to do in these, as you've already known, if you've seen these tactics videos already uh, I'm not really having a massive impact on this game it's just testing the preset tactic and maybe you'll make a decision as to which one you want to try but of course you can you can tweak them you could merge two styles together there's various things you can do but I do think these tactical styles will be good for newcomers to the game and then they can work away from there they shouldn't get lose every game 5-0 if they pick one of the presets I'm gonna have to make a change because Gomez has got injured but Dortmund coming forwards. Bitzel back. Oh, and that's caught. Making another change. But this has been a boring second half. We've got less possession as well, but we have had more shots compared to the regular Tiki Taka tactic. Here we go on the attack. 
can we get a winner before the end of this match? This is a bit more adventurous play from us, and you can see it's definitely different to normal Tiki Taka. And we might get it here, but nope, it's headed into the hands of the goalkeeper. That's our second half chance of the game. The good thing is, this has defensively been very strong. Dortmund have just done nothing. They've done nothing in this game. And we've almost got a winner there, but that was another half chance, and the keeper managed to stop it. We've come alive in the last 10 minutes. We've got another highlight. We've had 15 shots in this game. This, this is more like it. Five on target as well. Drives into the... We've actually completed 93% of our passes as well, so it's not been too dissimilar to the regular Tiki Taka. We'll have to see how many passes we completed at the end of the game. Dortmund have a corner. I hope they don't grab a winner. We don't deserve it. Even if we do lose this, though, I think it just shows this tactic is pretty solid. They've not created a single clear or half chance until then. That's a clear-cut chance. So, yeah. Commentator's curse, but that was in the 89th minute when they're probably pushing forward, going with a more attacking tactic, try and get a win against a team they should probably be beating. And they, here they come again. They've probably made a few changes and put in pressure on our defence, but it seems to be coping relatively well. Donis cuts in, plays it through. This could be an opportunity. And oh, it's another good save. That was our fourth half chance of the game. And we've got a corner with four minutes of injury time to go. Curled in, headed away, getting there after it, to, G to Castro, back to Donis, and a drive there, Castro, ah, uh, no, but we've won another corner, Castro crosses it in, headed away, Gentner, Donis, <sighs> Dortmund looking to grab a winner with two minutes of injury time to go, we've had lots of highlights since the 80th minute, but there was very little up until that point. But it must be Dortmund changing things a bit. We've been the better team. 19 shots to their eight. Had more possession. Created four half chances. We've played quite well. And a bit unlucky not to grab a winner, really. If we'd created a clear-cut chance, that would have been helpful. And look at Dortmund. Look at this pressing from them. Trying to stop us from keeping hold of the ball. From stopping the goalkeeper from playing it short. So he's had to lump it long. And that, but that has actually benefited us. <laughs> we might be able to grab another chance. Nope, we've given the ball away. Delaney coming forwards for Dortmund, going out wide. Good tackle by Gentner. No, and surely this match is just going to fizzle out now. And there we go, nil nil. Well, it's quite boring, but it wasn't as boring as the regular tiki taka. We were definitely better defensively because we only conceded that one clear cut chance right at the end of the game, probably when they were pushing forwards. Let's have a look at the stats then, just to look at it in a little bit more detail. So yes, much fewer passes completed, 599 out of 643, still a very high pass completion percentage, but not as many passes attempted in this game compared to the standard Tiki Taka approach. Uh, we had a lot more shots, 19 shots to Dortmund's 9, more shots on target as well as you can see there. We didn't create a clear cut chance, we did create 4 half chances, so overall this tactic has been relatively effective, we just couldn't stick the ball in the back of the net. But give it a go. Try it out. Try out all these tactics and see what you like best. We'll end it there. Thank you for watching this video. If you missed the other ones, make sure you go and watch them. And make sure you subscribe as well because there's going to be six more coming over the next few days. But until next time, enjoy Football Manager. Enjoy the rest of your day. See you very soon.